my name is Aria. Um, and thank you for the organizer for inviting me. It was really a great, great pleasure to be here. Uh, just, I, I want to start with a little bit of like, not sure if it is funny story. So I grew up in Thailand. I kind of learned Buddhism in a uh, very young age. And my father is like an influencer. And then when he knows that I come to Sikkim, so he told me, um, oh, you go to Sikkim. Can you find a Buddha for me? <laughs> and then, OK, I'll try. <laughs> so let's see if I can find a Buddha. So uh, anyway, so I'm a physicist, so I'm going to talk about um, more like a physical um, side of view uh, about the measurement and quantum uh, theory, and also maybe get a little bit touched on the Buddhism side that I think I understand, but I'm not an expert on it at all. So um, here we go. So we learn a lot from uh, Annals and Ted. Uh, we heard a lot about the wave function. So we had an idea of like, okay, we have the particle, and sometimes behave like particle, sometimes behave like wave function. But um, um, I just want to make it. Uh, like, like want to emphasize this again, what is the, the meaning of the wave function? So the wave function is kind of like telling the probability of some sense, right? I mean, if you know like the math, it's basically just the magnitude square, and it tells you about the probability of finding the particle at some point in, in the space of x. So let's look at this picture here. Um, this is some, some kind of wave function. I just draw the wave function there as a the purple line. So what happened is like it has like some sometime at some point of x it has a higher value. Some point of x it has like the value close to zero. So what does that mean? It kind of tells you that the probability of finding the particle there at value of x. So what does that mean by finding? At finding, so you have to do the measurement right in order to find something. So what happened is like when you do the measurement, you have to see the particle somewhere, right? So let's say that I make the measurement and I get an x uh, value of a, a 0 0.3. So that means, oh yeah, particle is x, say, x equals uh, 0 0.3. What happened to the wave function? So this is what we call in, in quantum mechanics as the collapse of the wave function, which means that before the measurement is basically a wave, but then once you do the measurement, get the value of x, equal to 0 0.3, the wave function just becomes a peak at the value of x. So that's like kind of the collapse of the wave function. That, that's the, the one idea that I want to get across. Um, and the next one is kind of like, OK, so we have an idea of the wave function and so on. But one thing that is missing is the qubit. I'm not sure if you have heard about a qubit at all. Like many people probably heard about the quantum computer. We have computer, but this is like the next generation of quantum computer. And this is the qubit is actually the main point of the quantum computer. So I want to get across this idea as well, because this qubit is actually the simplest quantum example of uh, the system that one could, should, could or should understand. So. So now we have the, the, the continuous variable here. So this, um, the difference between the qubit and the wave function is more like continuous and discrete uh, variable. So here is a continuous variable where like the, the value can be anywhere in the real line. Um, but now if we talk about the qubit, it's basically just two value, which means that it can be like x, maybe like here, x equal to 1, and then x equal to 2. So the wave function will become just like one peak and another peak. And let's say that the state is in like an up state, which I put like in the, the red color. So it is uh, the red state, and this one, it just represents like a down state, for example. So uh, in order to understand the qubit, it's probably uh, better to understand the classical one and the quantum one. What is the difference between the two? We are living in the classical world. It's probably easier to talk about this one. So what is a classical state? It's like, let's say I have a ball. I have two colors, it's like red or green, right? And um, you know that, okay, if I give it to you, you will tell, okay, this is red or this is green. That's it, there are two colors. But what happened in the, the qubit state is that it could be both colors at the same time. So now, um, in the classical case, we have two ways of representing the state, whether it's red or green, right? So there's two. 
but it turns out that in the qubit case, in the quantum case, um, it can be anywhere on this block sphere. So if I pick one point on this sphere, which is like a, the sphere of size one, uh, it's more the mathematical point of view. Um, so if I pick one point on this sphere, it basically tells me that is one quantum state. So let's say I pick the point on the top, it just represents the red color. If I pick the one on the bottom, it represents the green color. But if I pick somewhere in between, here it just like represents the superposition state between the red and green. Okay, so now we have some kind of idea of like qubit state is one point on these block sphere. And next question is how are we going to know it? Like how do we find um, what is that quantum state on that block sphere? Where is on the block sphere uh, that represent the system? So that comes to the word of oh, uh, the measurement. Okay, so I, I'm gonna do the same thing, classical and quantum. So you're gonna do classical measurement. Um, let's say we have like Alice and Bob. Alice know the state. She knows what, what the state is. And then Alice give the system to the Bob. And then Bob, Bob needs to figure out what is the state. So he has to do the measurement on it. So what happened in the classical set? So Alice know that it's red. Okay, so then she give it to Bob. Bob, what, what he's gonna do? He would just what? Open his eyes, whoop, and then just see the color, right? Okay, now, yeah, it's red. It has to be red because it was red. Um, so let's say that Alice gave it to him again and again. The second ball, uh, Bob still see red, and then give it another one, it's still red. But this is different for um, the superposition state in a quantum system. So let's say that Alice know that the state is in somewhat the supervision between red and green. So uh, Alice give the ball to the Bob. Bob has to open his eye and then do these projective measurement. Uh, I'll explain it later if you want. Um, but basically, it's just like collapsing the wave function to one or the other. So Bob make the measurement first time, he gets red. Okay, Alice give it to Bob again. Measurement again, it get green. Okay, give another one, it get red. So it turns out to be like, um, if Alice, Alice has given him a lot of them, many, many copies of the state. So Bob, uh, in order to figure out what is the state of Alice has, he has to make a lot of measurements on the same system. So, so that at the end of the day, he will grab that, okay, this is a 50% red, 50% green, and then somehow he can get an idea of what the state of Alice start with. So that's like uh, an idea of the quantum tomography, which I was just gonna throw that word here, which means that you have to figure out what is the state of the same system by doing many measurements um, on the system. So now, okay, how one can do the measurement? So in same way, classical quantum, in, in the classical measurement, you wanna see the ball. You just have the ball here, right? You open your eyes, what happens is the light reflect and goes to our eye. We see the ball um, and the color and so on. So this is like light reflect from eyes and our brain interpret that this is the ball. Um, but the key point is the ball doesn't change. Doesn't matter if you look five times, the ball will still be the ball. But this is different for the quantum measurement is that once you look at it, it collapses the state. So let's say that um, this is like not a ball anymore, it's some kind of atom, and then you have to send a photon to interact with it, and then you do the measurement on it. Somehow this photon will disturb the atom, and an atom will change. So that's like very similar to the idea of the collapse of the wave function that I kind of tell you in the beginning. Um, basically, like in this case, the light can disturb an atom. Um, and that's like one of the reasons why um, when you want to figure out the quantum state, you have to do many measurements on the same system because it can collapse to many different values and you have to collect all the data to get an idea of what it is. Um, okay, so quantum measurement theory, this is in, in physics how we think of um, how are we gonna explain the state change because of the measurement? So the idea is we have the system, 
um, whatever, it can be an atom. Uh, and then we have some kind of detector, and detector has to have some interaction. So this interaction is like between the detector and the system. And so we have to come up with an like idea of how it interacts. And then by doing the measurement, we get some kind of signal that may be on the monitor or something. Uh, you can see on a computer, and that's like a signal. And then once one have the signal, then this is the part where the quantum measurement theory has come in. How are we going to interpret what we see from the screen to what is inside the system? Like, how can we interpret this, this state from the measurement signal? So, so that's like the, the rough idea uh, of um, the, the theory part. So, um, so, okay, so that's like kind of theory, but this is not just like like plain theory. It has been proved in um, and kind of verified in experiments as well. So I just like um, we have seen lots of photon experiment. So let's just like step over to what is kind of like the current uh, situation um, that many people in the U.S. and many uh, labs around the world trying to get these kind of qubit, which is like superconducting qubit. Um, uh, it sounds like fancy. Yeah, it is fancy. <laughs> so it's kind of um, made from uh, the superconductor, which is like one kind of material. So if you look at it, this box is like this about this size, but it's actually the qubit itself is like really small inside there, and it basically kind of um, the two superconductor, and then there's an electron jumping in between, and then it's a qubit by it says like if the electron jump, it's one state. And if, if electron doesn't jump, then it's another state. So it's like the, the two-level uh, system. So that's like a qubit. Um, and then they put it into some kind of refrigerator. So you have like the, fri the fridge at home, the refrigerator at home, but it's not cold enough. Um, this is more like the, the illusion. Uh, the refrigerator which is like low to like really, really low temperature where you can see the quantum effect happening. So what happened is this is system. Uh, it's a qubit, and this is um, the kind of the photon, but it's a different kind of photon that um, Annie was talking about. It's like an optical photon. This one is more like microwave photon. Um, in your microwave, it's basically on the same uh, frequency. And then so sending the photon interact with the system, went out, and then do some kind of um, uh, amplification measurement on it, and what you find is like some signal coming out of your monitor. And then the quantum theory has, uh, quantum measurement theory is the part that translates these signal to these squiggle line <laughs> is something. But it basically, that squiggle line is just like um, what the point on the block sphere. So it basically, you kind of translate the signal that you get from the monitor to a point on the box sphere, and that tells us about the state. So it's a system, detector, measurement signal, and also the quantum state. OK, so, so the question is, um, <laughs> this is the part of the interpretation. Now the phys physical part is done. The question is, what does it mean? Like, what does like, the, the quantum state actually mean to, to us? And there are so many um, ways people could think about uh, you could think of it, and there are so many uh, interpretations. Um, and I guess that um, uh, Ian will, will talk about different interpretation of the quantum state and quantum measurement later on. Um, and I would just like show you, kind of present my, my point of view, because anyone can just pick any interpretation. Um, I, I would just pick one, which is like, uh, it's called like cubism. So what is cubism is more like, um, we treat this wave function or the quantum state as a description of an observer subject, subjective knowledge. So kind of like you get the measurement outcome and that state mm -hmm. is basically the knowledge of me learning about the system and then that knowledge is basically predicting what is going to happen in, in like if I want to make the measurement on my system, what I'm going to get. So it's kind of like that kind of um, uh, the knowledge. Uh, and then the question is, I was like thinking, 
Mm, I was like talking to my uh, advisor, Howard Wiseman, and I was like, uh, I wonder why do I prefer this kind of interpretation? And I, I guess that maybe it's related to me growing up as a Buddhism, I, yeah, a Buddhist, um, kind of like learning the path and nirvana and liberation. <laughs> I guess that's probably related. I'm not, I'm not saying that it's like related, but this is, um, I, I feel okay with, with saying that the Huang state is uh, subjective knowledge and a state of knowledge about the system. Um, but of course, there's a lot of problems about this interpretation. Like, for example, one can say, uh, do I need to be a human in order to know the quantum state, or do I need to learn quantum mechanics in order to learn about the quantum system and so on? So there's a lot of problems with this as well. Um, uh, and then the, the last but not least um, would be related to this thing, which is kind of somehow related to system detector measurement signal and quantum state. Because like, uh, uh, so it's related to um, uh, the, the first talk, um, which is uh, related to external sense, internal sense, like visible object, uh, sound, odor, taste, tangible mental object, and also the sixth uh, detector. And then so I kind of think of this as like my the system for the theory, and this is a detector. And then, um, of course, somehow the measurement signal comes into this part. I'm not sure. Maybe consciousness or feeling or craving. I am not, I'm not an expert on it. But somewhere around there, there's kind of the measurement signal and, and quantum state. So um, I will just leave you with this idea. We can discuss later on. There probably no answer or no conclusion. Um, so this is just a summary. So um, I talk about the quantum state, uh, a little bit of uh, measurement creates collapse of uh, quantum state. And then talk about if the state is unknown, how can we learn about the quantum state is by doing the measurement on it, uh, doing many, many measurements. So that's called the quantum state tomography. Uh, and then talk about how do we do the measurement is we need the system, we need interaction, we need detector, and we need the theory to translate the, the signal. Um, and then I show a little bit of experiment part, uh, and then I say that my interpretation is basically uh, quantum state of knowledge, um, and then a little bit on uh, the Buddhism idea of, yes, sixth sense. Yeah, so thank you very much. Uh, so it seems that um, uh, you have the exposure both to uh, physics and um, Buddhism and uh, in physics and particularly in quantum physics um, you talk, talk about uh, measurements of uh, these very small um, uh, particles or entities. So based on your kind of understanding how this kind of measurement or the study of very small things can uh, help us in our practice as a Buddhist? I guess, oh, oh, it's just like my personal view is that science is getting to, uh, I, like, okay, so I learn from physical and phys kind of spiritual mm -hmm. side. And then quantum, quantum mechanics is kind of, um, is the, I guess it's the closest thing that one can make the connection. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to make the connection yet. It seems to be the closest thing in size that can reach mm -hmm. or can help the spiritual part. Yeah. Uh, 
Tachi Sukjing Namsha and Sering Tony and Lobjun Chigare, and a na Simjung Chan and Dan Juk Lobjun is a Chigares. Tanganang do sting to Sambala, and a Dinini, the Rigpik Shulu Dinini, and a Chigia Tuyak Samotang Bimbina, and a Tanishu, Lady Nidi, and a Sirik Nalon Tanda Sidium Uncom Ripare, some good dos, and a Sidium Uncom Ripata, and a Tiwa Dinis dos, and Dinis Reshas, Laiki Tanga Latu Samaris. Maybe I can add a little bit more. Um, okay, this is probably <laughs> a little bit over. Um, I think that um, the the Buddhism part or should kind of <laughs> try to be really good at the the spiritual understanding, and then we will try to be really good at the scientist. Uh, or the physical understanding, and then hopefully at the end of the day, we will come to the, I don't know, in conclusion, yeah. Uh, my question is, how is Kautam Nishchat theory related with Buddhism? I think, okay, this is my per interpretation, right? So I think the quantum state is the knowledge about the system. So it's related to the Buddhism point of view in the sense that we, we look at things and all is happening in our mind. Uh, uh, so then it's kind of similar in a way. And also using the word um, state of knowledge means that I avoid saying that there's a reality out there. So that's probably similar to the emptiness in a sense. I don't know, but that's, the, that's my answer so far. Tanda Sidu in Nebob Siesto, a quantum state like Dick Harris, like Dusambala, Saint Jessica, and Nanzok Mala, Karim Bena, Dick Corla, Manzuki, Samluk, Nangola, and a Karishin to your Dilisigiris. Tanzata, Dindiki, and a Siduki, and a Mala D, and a Nanzuki Shinto Cheki, Tablam, the Shinto Chewa D, Tanda State of Malaysia, Dusambala, Tashimbeki, Chad, Niki Kaja Kachin Sigiris Lavimbina, and a Nanjuk Nangol Yimbina, and a Chiki, and a Yuya Digaris, Chiki Yudian Zinking, that and that Sedum Torges, Stodina Shin Zinking, one good in the Yodigaris, one good in Zuki Juni, Manzuki, Nizuji, Shingu, or was that the Zuk Tony Niki, and a Dawa Chantungiris, Tianashi, Bundegi, and a Nizukar Hawadi, and a Manzuki, and a set of knowledge in New England, Zambala, and a Hakoata, Shimbeke, and a Kaja, Eugenki, and a Samutan, Kaja Kachin Shares, Lavin, Dig Tony, and a UCAD, and a Munisula, Dembot, Tobot, Yuma, UCAD, Dig Tolingi, and a Kaja Shia Guyo Maris, Kaja Shia Yomaris, Chesa Digi, and a Shola, and a Kota, U Dembot Maduba, the Dick Nanjuki Kotan, the Zoo, and a Deoyer Samgudus. Just added, so this is state of knowledge thing is just like one of the branch of the interpretation. There's so many other things. So I guess that um, we don't want to make the conclusion yet. This is like the best one, but there are so many out there. Um, and then Ian will um, talk about it. Manzuki, any Tanda, Sidung and Comrade Big, Tachi, Gutum Dinus, and Tishi Yama Mango Yoros, Dig Nangloni, Chig, any Manzuki, any Yugi Kari, Hakoyaki, Tapshi Sam Jiresia, Shintoche, Tapshi Sam Jiresia, D, any Dizu Mango Yuik Nalon, Dizu Chigreta, Ding Aran Gerke, any Majoro, any Dizu Dilla, Killing Yoris, that Dima Imbe Dizu Mango Yor again, Ian Korangasani Dol, Dizu Shimbadins of Call, Kajashi Ingris. All right, so. Here's a question to the audience. Tanga Tanda Tewati, though Tandati Tewati, Jidan Tandati, Kangani Tewati, and Dota and Red Divik in Tewati. Any Tati Tewati Karasan at Tanganzo. Any Siri Tan Siri than Nonchu, Pandi, any Devachone, Pajeta, Tini Lo Sumchu, Egypt, Tinita Gorgeta Pache, and all your reading. Tini, Tini, and do that. 
ตินิเกนเดวาเจเนเอนิงันจุนนอมบิกิชอนิเอนิจุนเดนดาวกาดิจองยอเดเซนาอ่าเจเอตินิเอนอมบิชอตินงันจุนิเจตันเซเรกต
the state tomography, a quantum state tomography, is a process to, let's say that I, I so this is a qubit, I give it to you, how would you figure out what is the state uh, of it is? So you have to do a lot of measurements on it and then figure out what is the quantum state. Um, so that's the quantum state tomography. So it's a process of doing a lot of measurements to figure out what is a state is. And then cubism is just one branch of interpretation of what the quantum state means to us. Yeah. Just a gilakuran gitani to the cubism say did the any tomography say the nini like chow cario say to a draw. Just a did the nini savage and any ta called Joe Mindu Lana Digmar Joe Yoro, that is a cubism say the Karsi Yoroslav in Bena, Seduki and the neighbors say a dig to not carding yores, cook hunting yores, say a dill and deshi mangu yores naswa, deshi mangu yevik nangon, gelamorankin, dozu yosik, deshi chiki, and it tata. That's using a red talus in the room, the Nichila, and it could be some say at Sigures. Tomography, Sidu Zambala, Mala de la Keran, Saint Jay, Yundu Zambala, and it Namgur Kandish Tungudu, Namgur Denzu, and it Kaleka, say Mango Jevic Jela, and it's a much public raw. Oh, Tomdich Rang Yero, and it tomography said Sigures, Kuri Lashdon and Yipel. All right, let's thank Aria once more here.